Welcome everybody. Friday night in the shade. Mm -hmm. Back with myself, Lawrence, and <coughs> Martin, Oak. Martin Oak Bradley. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, this month's sponsor, which is Corefield. Follow them on Twitter. Supplied us with a lovely fan or team for this month's fancy football prize. Nice. Uh, nice. It's a great team, as you'll see in the photo. Uh, this week's show, we're going to talk about week two of the fancy football that's just passed. Um, and then we have a Skype call with Derry City member Craig Stewart. We have What's in Your Box with Craig Stewart, which was a big hit last week. Big hit. Everybody liked it, eh? Good everybody comments. Wants to know what's in your box. What's in your box? <laughs> so everybody, a couple of good comments on Twitter and YouTube channel and Facebook about that. Um, me and you played a match during the week. We did. Monday night we played a match. Monday night. Was it Monday night? Tuesday night? Monday night. Monday, Monday night. night. Played a wee match, so we'll show you highlights of the match and we'll talk about that. Um, we have Painter's Corner, which is our new name for it fantastic we just need a wee fancy jazz it up jazz it up a bit and then we have Ruby's Video Diary and we're all going to try and do it this week in 30 minutes oh, oh. let's go <coughs> so first thing fantasy football top <laughs> we have a couple of big movers this week let's do it we have first place, okay. uh, Dahi Nolan. Dahi Nolan, is that a different first place? That That's place? a new first place from last week. So oh. Dahi is 10 years of age. Oh. <laughs> and he's top of the league. He's stuck at the... His wee team's called Abamian Gang. The Abamian Gang, I like him. <laughs> That's a like good him. name. He got uh, 76 points and he sits top on 153. 76? 76 in one week. He had Abamian, captain, 10 points. Oof. He had Mope, uh, 16 points. And he had Son, 24 points. Is that the Japanese boy plays for? A Korean. China? Ch Korean. Korean. South Korean, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, second <coughs> place, another big mover, Barry Spence. Chopper. Chopper FC. Chopper FC. Up and Barry. Barry got the highest score of the week. Oh, what did he get? He 98 points. Why is he not number one? Because he was so far behind. So okay. he's a point behind. 98 points he got. And he's 132 in total. So he's a point Ooh. behind. He yeah, had Harry. Yeah, Harry Kane as captain. 42 points. Oh, he's, did he score five goals? Or he something? scored one and set up fucking probably the rest. He, he got 21 points in total. I had him in took him out. True. <laughs> I had him in and I had Manny in and took both of them out. Yeah. Uh, he also had Cam De Bruyne who you had yes Kim 13 Bruyne. points and he had generation. Allison 14 points so Allison got a clean sheet saved the penalty oh he's a keeper mm. alright he's fair for Liverpool so next and third is Dahi's father Gary Nolan Gary Nolan who actually invented this show oh that's Gary did the, 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 the team the team and the then team. he put Very this good. idea together so Very Gary's uh, the man the brains behind this so Gary got Gunners AFC he got 85 points and he's up on 128 in total I believe I've slapped down this week <coughs> uh, I'll talk about yours really second where Gary Nolan has Harry Kane Aubameyang and Rodriguez for Everton all on his team um, last week's leader Thomas Regan Jr okay. no human is legal drops the 11th 11th Oh my God! Place. How the mighty have fallen on 110 points, but 110 points. So he's only he's only 23 behind the leader. Well, what am I lying on if I? He's number 11. I'm not number 11. Yeah. Uh, I'm number five or something. You are. I'll tell you where you are in a wee second. Let me get to that. Right. Big mover, Trevor Condry. He got 81 points, and he moved up to 14th on 106 points. Very and good. he had Harry Kane as captain. Justin for Leicester and Rodriguez were a big point scorer. Derry City members. Here we this go. is where we are, right? Derry <coughs> City. Uh, biggest mover, obviously, was Barry. Barry. You've dropped the fourth. From second. You were joint second? Joint second, but now I'm 
Am so I you, joint fourth or just fourth? No, you're just fourth. You have 122 points. That's not bad. Not bad. You get rid of you got rid of your favourite. We have to mention him everywhere. Ah, your big man. What do you call him? Terori. Adami. Terori. <laughs> Muscles. Uh, Martin and then Simon dropped to 21st. Simon has yes. 84 points. 84 points? Yes. Yeah. He doesn't like it in English football, but... And 20. We start calling it English football. It it's is. Premier League. Well, you may defend the, people the, in England. There's two Premier Leagues on the island of Ireland alone. Yeah. Never mind throughout the, the entire British Isles. You know. Premier League. Could use it. I'm in 24th. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't moved. Yes, I haven't moved. 24th must be near bottom. 73, 26. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I want to talk about Jude. <laughs> the damned United. Okay, are they damned or are they flying? Where do you hear this? Jude last week had nine points. <laughs> yes, this. This week he sits on 17 points. So he's gone up. But this week he scored 30. This week he scored 58 points. Right. And he's now only on 17. What? Well, how does that happen? I think he tried to use his wild card and messed it up and fucking cost all his team is, he must have changed his whole team and it cost him all points so for every change after one it costs you four points so he must have changed the whole team went minus fucking I changed somebody this week ah but you get a free transfer every week I so I think he's changed the whole team traded a wild card it <laughs> and he's fucking cost himself 50 odd points oh my god <laughs> so Jude you made the balls the Jude. damned United are Jude. bigger than damned they're still bottom of the table and a new guy that came in this week Missed the first week is above him. Who's that? Aidan Kerr. Very good. Uh, we have a new London Rotor. Eh? We have a new London Rotor in. He, Dave Morelius. Mer- Morelius. Mer- Dave Morelius <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Dave Morelius <laughs> Kelly Jesus. from London Road joined. He had already joined from the start, so he's in 58 points or something. Very good. Good. Uh, good. A wee special mention to a guy that keeps slagging me on Twitter. And our guest, I put him in because our guest, Craig, will just so annoy him. Okay. Ray McGacky, Finnicky Reds, reference to Cliftonville. Craig's a Crusader supporter, so Finnicky Reds is 16th place in 100 points. Okay. Up at Cliftonville. Um, so, has goal score, <coughs> Calvin Loon, four goals. Is he man? You have him, yeah. Harry Kane, four assists. Uh... If I was putting in players this week, I would consider Everton's Rodriguez, Calvin Loon. Is he Brazilian? Yes. No, no, he is Mexican. Oh. No. Colombian. Oh. Colombian. Colombian's good at football. Uh, Richardson. Is he Brazilian? He plays for Everton. He had a good week last week, but then they're only playing West Brom. Who is the guy that I have? Calvert Lewin. Calvin Lewin. He plays for Everton. Everton. So there's three from Everton. Magic. Uh, Zaha and Townsend from Crystal Palace had a good weekend. Zaha's only 7.1 million. Takes penalties for Palace, so he's worth having. Townsend is only 6 million. I bought a boy 5.5 million. Who? Kenny Mayne. Uh-huh. Uh, they swap out. They had a boy hurt his arm or something. Irish boy. Oh, you had uh, you had Brady. Yes. Broke his ribs, didn't Broke he? His ribs. Uh, Phil Foden, I think this week is a good buy. Six and a half million, Man City. Scored on Saturday or scored on Monday night. Um, if you have him, don't do. Be a good wee move. Don't do. Um, this week's fixtures: Saturday, first match, Brighton Man United. I would get in more pay Brighton. from Brighton. City, City are, are United having a bit of a bad time. They're useless. Bad time. Worst uh, team in the league. They're useless. Another rematch I picked out in the <coughs> afternoon would be Palace and Everton. So five. Of, Palace did well, did they not? I'd be United. Uh, Bit United because United are shit. Well, there's five players I mentioned that could all get points this week, and they're playing each other. So oh. good at all attackers. Consider that. Have you made your transfer? I did. Because you had your man with a broke rub. Well, it's. Right. I think I put in another. I don't think it was a Wolves boy. Did you bring Truori back? I brought Truori back. <laughs> I think I made him captain. Oh, or vice captain. 
You made the mistake. I told you last week not to put Sal as your captain. You brought him in, put him as your captain, and what did he score you? Three points or something, didn't he? I don't even know if he did. Useless. And he was a triple captain. If that <laughs> if that well, That's anyway, I don't know what you're spoofing slagging for because I'm you're sitting me. in fourth I know. and I you're know. sitting in 24th. I'm not taking any interest in it. I'm more interested in putting it all together. All right, hold on. Too much in my hands. Uh, other couple of matches on Saturday. West Brom, Chelsea, Burnley, Southampton. And then on Sunday you have... Sheffield United Leeds could be a good match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spurs Newcastle, City Leicester on Sunday, and okay. West Ham Wolves on Sunday as well. Be a good game. Okay. Uh, okay. Monday night, Fulham Villa and Liverpool Arsenal. The last game Monday night. Liverpool won because Arsenal is shade. My friend Paddy loves Arsenal, but shade. I go for a draw. Yeah, you're your Arsenal. Liverpool draw. won. Right. Here's a minute. You've all been waiting on. You want to do the reveal? Gary City's <coughs> stalwart. Uh, 18 player. 18 player. Travelled from Belfast. Travelled the, the world. Travelled the... He's uh, been the London Road. He's been the Wales. Wales. He's been the Wolverhampton. He's been to... Lisbon. Belgium. And played Belgium, in the European right, Cup on loan from us to Wolverhampton for the Europe Europa League in Lisbon. Ladies and gentlemen, the one... The only Mr. Craig Stewart. Oh! Hi, Marcus, fellas. Well, Hi, Craig. Craig. Cheers, good buddy. Cheers, right. man. Oh, good, mate. Brilliant. You're looking well, now. I like your track. I enjoyed sitting and listening to that night. Oh, you're all part of it now. You see what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> talk, so, talk us through this fancy shirt here, Craig, before we start. Well, this here is my retro Crusaders uh, football shirt. Now, I bought I bought the new shirt uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I just thought this would be a wee bit more fitting, you know. Um, I I like to wear retro stuff when we're talking about Subudio. So, um, yeah, it's a wee retro Crusaders shirt. I think it represents something like the seventies Irish Cup winning side or something, you know. But um, as you'll hear through the show. Uh, I'm a big Crusaders fan. Just a bit. And Crusaders obviously are part of uh, the Irish League, Northern Irish League, come from North Belfast, <laughs> second best team in North Belfast behind Cliftonville. I do believe, I, I do believe they're uh, part of the Northern Irish Premier League. Am I not right, Craig? Well, we're more than that. You know, we, we dominated, well, dominated the league for the last six or seven years, but uh, we're just getting tipped at the minute, you know. Do- dominated the Premier League, Craig. Aye, we we won the Premier League uh, oh. once, and then we just got hipped to the last game on goal difference, and then we won it two years in a row. So we very nearly won it four years in a row. Um, if, my, if my granny had balls, she'd be my granda. Let's not dwell on that. And we we've also played Derry City Tail Football Club. Uh, have played at. Crusaders home ground CV Stadium well certainly have um, so I obviously for the Ulster Championships before it was the All-Ireland Championships uh-huh. we ran uh, our, our first sort of circuit which was the Ulster Championships and um, we all held legs and we were all responsible for sort of organising the legs uh, so I was responsible for holding the Belfast leg and, and we're better placed than uh, than CV than you know so we all came down and, and I think it was I don't know what you probably tell more than me it's probably a third or fourth leg and with a brilliant crowd it was probably what with a good 15 or 20 people there we did if I'm, featuring, if I'm not mistaken featuring an Italian 90 uh, legend Neil Herman so for, Northern Ireland legend I'm sure if you add this you might uh, get a few pictures up of the, from, from the Facebook page they're already on the screen <laughs> already on the screen Craig. they're already on the screen you know so um, yeah, it was a great, it was a great, uh, it was a great day. I must say, I, I remember it really well, and it was absolutely brilliant. Um, I think, I think, uh, boy from Dub- a couple of boys from Dublin came up. Uh, yeah, all you boys right. came down. A couple of boys from Straban, Mark, and all came down. Yep. Uh, um, it was brilliant. Good lad. Uh, what beer are you drinking the night there, Craig? Right. Well. What I'm drinking here is this is Sagres, right? <clears throat> so this is a this is a 
Portuguese beer. Oh, very nice. I see. You, I see. This is cool. But when you says when you says to me, get something there, you know, I just says to myself, right? Well, wherever the, the good places where I've played Cebu Rio, uh, I thought I would look in the off license for beers from that country. Magic. So this is uh, obviously I played I played in the Europa League uh, last year, and that was in Lisbon. So this Sagres is is from Portugal. Lovely. So that so that's the first beer I'm drinking. And the second beer I'm drinking then is is called Blue Moon Belgian White. Oh beautiful. Oh and, rocket fuel. Yeah, so that Blue Moon Belgian White um was my first sort of trip abroad. Um the main man, Vincent Vincent. I went over to to, to visit him and he organised a tour, uh, like Vincent. a competition. Vincent. So it was a two-day competition, and um, that was held in Tournai, where actually one of the World Cups was held. Oh, fantastic! And we had a two-day tournament over there. So I thought I would get a couple of beers that represented, you know, the places in mainland Europe where I've played. So we do. Like your so style. So South Wales from Portugal. And Belgian white from Belgium. Lovely. Martin, do you want to tell us what we're drinking? <coughs> we're drinking a Francis Kainer Weiss beer. This? All the way from Munich. Cheers. Cheers. Ching ching. Slongsha, as I say. Slongsha. Slongsha. So, Craig, let's talk about your fantasy football team. Well, or not. <laughs> <laughs> AFK Duckler Prague. Uh, in homage to the AFC Dr. Prague away kit song I'm guessing um, yes. you had yes. you had 30 points right. you had 30 points this week which put you on total of 74 one point above me um, you want to talk us through your team do you remember who you have right well I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I've done here um, there's, a, there's a, a lot of players where I thought we're absolutely searched for the first couple of weeks okay. based on the teams that we're playing um, continuing on from last season um, I spent a good week picking the team and I thought sure there that, you know that he earned me a lot of points over the first two weeks that hasn't been the case handsome sitting sort of third or fourth bottom you uh, are uh, well, did I write it down where you are no you're not you're not <laughs> you're not fourth you're 74, so I think you're a point above me. You're about 23rd. <clears throat> yes, look, that's right. I am, yeah. So I took, basically, oh, right, okay, so the goalkeeper, McCarthy. Zero uh, points. Zero point. right, okay. So <laughs> that was basically, a, that, that, was, that was a scouts recommendation. There's a wee section on the app, scouts, and you can read up on what all the experts say. Yeah. And Ooh, I was okay. just going on what they had recommended, oh, so they all say, sort of, put him in, he's great value for money, and he'll score you points. That obviously wasn't the case, you know. No, definitely. Um, my defence then, from memory, because by the way, I've used uh, my free hit this week, what? and I've basically rejigged all my team. What's a free hit? <laughs> you can change the hit for free. some respectability in the in the my life. Um, so, uh, what do you call the guy there from Chelsea? The, the right back. Have you got the team there, Lawrence? Uh, the team, though. See, I can only see your team from last week. So, last week you had yeah. Aubameyang, captain. Um, you had Van Dijk, uh, got you seven. Robertson got you six from Liverpool. Uh, then you had Alex McCarthy, got you zero for Southampton. Lundstrom got you minus one for Sheffield United. Missed a penalty. Uh, um, and Foden, you had on the bench. He would have got you nine points, but you he, he never got on. He's on the bench. You have Obama Yang. Okay, so, oh, did you? Aye. But you can't see you can't see neither his changes until the matches start on you, Saturday. You had Jamie Vardy. Many points. That's right. He was your he was uh two points. See, uh, not a shade. They're not they're you not. You had three Rory. That's your That's Eggman. Him. You had him. Only two points. So Van Dyke. One of, one of the biggest mistakes was on the 11th hour before the deadline hit in week one, I had Salah as my captain, right? Right. Right up until the 11th hour, and again, I listened to a podcast. 
on some of the boys talking about it, and they all says, get a Bamiang in, right? They all says, you have to get a Bamiang in. So because of the points and, and the value of that guy, I had to sacrifice Salah for him. It was a straight swap, basically. And I put him in as captain. Now, that was, that was probably the biggest mistake I've made, because if I had had him as captain in the first week, you know, he had a score me. I think you did, Martin, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I did. That's why I was up at number That's two. That's why you were second. So that, that was a big mistake of mine. You know, I had, I had Salah as captain. And I also had James in defence, right, who has swapped out. Um, for If you have my team there, you'll tell me, Lawrence, who's the Chelsea boy I had? I'll tell you. In def- the Chelsea defender? Uh, well, James uh, is the Chelsea defender. <coughs> you had uh, Dallas. I had James and I took him out. So basically... Those, those were the big point scores in week one that I had removed based on the scouts recommendations and the moral of the story is go on your gut instinct yes and I didn't I, I took the advice of the experts nah. and it was a big mistake of mine nah. um, I also them. put in I also put in the, uh, the the boy from Chelsea Warner yeah I've had him in two weeks in a row he's shy. and he he just he just hasn't performed he hasn't scored me any points and the other big mistake I made was I had Bamford from the start and I swapped them for the other lead boy Rodriguez, right? Yeah. I'm sure he's been to, he's been taken on he's been taken off the last couple of weeks. <laughs> you just don't and, it's, it's a lot. Bamford scored the Bamford scored the last two games. Yeah. It's all the luck. I notice that there's in that English Premier League, there's a while that out crying in Yemen and I seen a boy and another boy stood in his toe and he rolled about the pitch for five minutes. And then he went off the pitch and then he come back on. Jogged on as if nothing happened to him. You wouldn't get that in the brandy well. Well You wouldn't get that in the brandy well, Craig. I'm very similar to you, Martin. Um I love my local football, as yeah. you can see, right? Lo- yes. Love love my lo- love looking down, watching my local football. Boys come into the bar for a pint after, talk to you about the match. I don't want to line the pockets of these guys when you get on a flight and you go over and you spend two or three hundred quid mm-hmm. and all the merchandise and all. So I'm not a big Premier League fan, but that's no excuse of how I've performed over the last two weeks. So you, I need to fuck up the game. You're definitely you're on the chopping board like me. I'm I could be sacked. I could be out of a job. <laughs> I'm in the yeah. relegation zone. I think I'm gonna have a good I've week. Took, this I've week. took my free hits and I've basically <laughs> rejected all the all my team. You know? Well I done the same. I, I took a free hit at the weekend, took out Kane, took out Manny, brought in Abamyang and Lacazette they both scored me points but I would have got more if I'd have left my team alone so yeah. too much foot there too much foot there right enough of that out fantasy let's tell us about your Subutio career short as quick as you can I know it's pretty long but Subutio career and your biggest achievement Craig here's your head Craig was uh, right go for what's it what's up Martin I'm ju- I was just going to say that you were the current there is a WASPA holder. But look Before at your Facebook lockdown. piece today. Somebody took that off me. Am I right? They did. That? Nick Pearson was over from England. We had a wee mini WASPA and he won it. I only found that out. I only found that out today. I wasn't happy. But anyway. Anyway. Um, I would have loved coming on to this show being the current WASPA holder. But sure. It is what it is. Almost. Right. So let me quickly give you a rundown of my video career. Um, similar, to, similar to Lawrence, probably what primary school P seven P eight. Uh, collecting all the you had all you had all the lovely girls uh, collecting all the Tudor crisps to pick you the obviously the, the Nike World Cup was was back then and if you picked something like ten and the Tudor crisps sent them away in an envelope you got the World Cup teams yeah yeah so. I had more or less started there probably slightly before that, um, you know, and we all we all used to go up and, and play in my bedroom, and uh, had we we used to make wee cardboard cutouts and, and put them in foil for the cups and all. It's great crack. Um, and then um, obviously went through secondary school, played all through secondary school, and then obviously as you get older, it's just not the same. You're you're not in the game. You're not living it. And Went up into the loft for a lot of years until my firstborn, Jack. He was born and went up to the loft and I says, right, let's get all this down just for the crack. So I brought <coughs> a 
thing, I, I have a whole, I, I got thousands of pounds worth of stuff. So I brought it all down into the living room floor, floor one day and laid it all out and it literally covered my floor. And the feeling, you, you know, so if you know it's either in you, you boys know, yeah. it's either in you or it's not. It's either in your blood or it's not. And the feel the buzz I got from looking at all my collection uh, was was absolutely brilliant, you know. Um, so it says, right, okay. Went on to Facebook. I was on Facebook. I'm not on it now, but I was on Facebook at the time. And went went in, just looked at clubs and stuff, and actually seen, you know, so much activity around England and Europe. Probably probably not in Northern Ireland or Ireland at the time, but definitely around mainland England and in Europe. So it was actually quite a big thing um, six, seven years ago. So got in contact with a few boys and then my first sort of competition, I'd heard about Kenny Beggs, obviously the legend of Kenny. The legend. And um, uh, Kenny invited me mm-hmm. down to, oh, I absolutely, Kenny invited me down to a wee competition in Bangor. And who was there but our very own Brendan Rogers went in. Oh, very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Brendan was standing in the hall, and that was our first competition. It was Brendan's first competition. So that was probably that was that was probably a good seven years ago or something. We played a competition. I beat Brendan three one on my first uh, my first game of Super Bowl back, and I was absolutely overjoyed. And then I played awesome. Barry Spence in my second game, and you know I don't have to tell you what score that would have been. He, he doesn't bet him. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then I played, and I think I played Canny in the third match, and again. Um, you know, you can you can jump to your conclusion about what that, what score that was. All right. Amazing. So um, so obviously me and Brendan were, were were talking back and forward, and um, and and then obviously you boys came on board, and we we came up. Me and Brendan um got an email from Brendan saying, listen, these boys are starting up and and Derry, what about sort of going up and 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 giving them a warm sort of welcome, right? So we all went up into the competition, and the rest is history from there. I, you know, obviously, I, I've been there from day one with you boys. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. We've, we've, I must say, it has been absolutely <coughs> fantastic. We've had an absolutely brilliant time. Uh, we've been, we've been over to England, um, and all this sort of caper. So we've had some brilliant times. Obviously, I'm going to stop here. Um, as far as biggest achievements concerned, uh, my highlight is obviously going to Belgium to, to meet Vincent. Vincent. Uh, I'm playing, playing with, playing with uh, Vincent in the competition. That's 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 my highlight. Um, but obviously, I've also played in the Europa League, where um, uh, Wolves were good enough to give me an invite over. Um, that was that was a big experience. That can I can I ask you something about the Wolves going away with Wolves? Yep. Did you get to keep the shirt? No, no. Oh, they oh, took a shirt. Oh, what, Justin, what me, Justin which, Scott. What did it mean? Which was even better, right? And I brought it down into the wee ball for is they allowed me to keep the trophy that we won. Oh, oh very right, good. good. So, Lovely. Well done, Wolves. Lovely. That, You've been reprieved, Justin. Sorry. Right. Uh, so, so that 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 sits in my son's room. That's the official uh, 2019. Uh, Europa League trophy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get that so, in the mantelpiece. Get that out of your son's room and get it in the mantelpiece. That's a cracker, isn't it? That should actually yeah, belong to the so, City Table so Football my, Club. That belongs in the So that was obviously my biggest experience. Uh, playing with these guys, you've obviously. Uh, well, I'm sure you just know um, with Martin going to the Glasgow Grand Prix and stuff, um, these guys are just on a different level. Definitely and and level. it was really. A humble and experience to go on and, and play Sabudio with them, but definitely, definitely, my, definitely, my best weekend was was over with Vincent in Belgium. You know, that was good. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. Uh, Craig, just quickly, what is in your box? What's in the box? Oh, he was a box. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? box? What's in the box, right? A couple of boxes here for you. Nine. I'll show you my first box and my main box with all the teams that I would sort of play with. Now, I'm by, I'm by no means a great Subidio player, but That's in the all. box, this is this is, uh, this is my box here, <coughs> all right? Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Did, did you buy that or did Steve. someone get that to you? All right, so obviously all the different stickers have on it. We've got uh, Wolverhampton, Liverpool, 
Sporting, uh, Sporting Lisbon, Portugal, Harold Hawks. We've got that Simon Sampoli one there. We've I've actually got Colorado there. Colorado oh, one's a, a quite, quite a nice one. Um, so in my box here, I've got four different Sabudio teams. Beautiful. Without here, yeah, all right? Yeah. See them. We have a wee clip up of them all in the video there. So lovely. Everybody at home can see them. So the ones that I would sort of play with would be uh, these sort of boys. <laughs> they're the they're the snipers. Yeah. Them, try and get other, them way, other way, other way, other way, up a bit. Up a bit. Yeah, they're nice. I've seen you playing them. So they're the snipers. Um, this is a team that would normally play Watsy with. Typical East Belfast uh, man. Uh, roll away, That's other way, other way, other way. Who who have we got there? Oh. Who's that? That's my Rangers team. Oh. I love that. I love that. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you quickly about uh, me and Watsy's rivalry. Um, and I've actually brought me. Uh, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the other one I play with is my Crusaders one. These are on uh, these are on the Astro the Astro bases. Oh, that they, yeah, I haven't seen them. So that's the C five Astro base, and the main man painted that for me. If you can remember painting my fantasy football Crusaders thing, I did. I eh? Adidas kit or something was it? Yeah, I just thought that Luke Coolum and Adidas stripey kit, and you painted it for me. So I sent you, I sent you like a, you know. What, what, what I want to imagine them looking at Adidas and you were good enough to paint that for me so thanks for that mate yeah Beautiful. I, I actually have, I actually painted them have, on top of have, old uh, Craig I have to that? I have to let you in the secret in them go ahead I actually painted over an old Celtic team <laughs> 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 so the Saudi gets underneath. <laughs> you made the voodoo now, right? So uh, the, la the last one on the box there is the Northern Ireland uh, Euro team. Lovely, they're nice. You know when we when we beat Ukraine two 0 and they're on, they are on uh, the wee Raptor bases. I haven't seen that team there. Who who did you that team? Uh, that was a guy in Holland painted them. Oh, very nice. Lovely, lovely. For, I, I forget his name, lads. I, I, I must get his. I must. Um, uh, I'll, I'll remember his name. Well, so, yeah, out. Well, he, out. Then, There's his they, name. They're on, they're on the wee rapper <laughs> yep. bases. I would definitely recommend them bases for value for money. That's what Sam and Stuart uses. The Raptors. The Raptors. Yeah. Yep, yeah, the Raptors. So there's different. There's different teams for different bases, you know. But that's in my box. That's that's in my box. And then obviously I have a couple of uh, wee novelty teams. You know the likes of the likes of my Crusaders team here. Beautiful. Yeah. You wouldn't really you wouldn't really play a match with these, but it's just more of our collection, you know. Lovely. Very nice. Um, so, oh, what's in your box? You had another box, didn't you? Just you want to show us that real quick. What was in your other box? Have you got it there? Or no. Your traveling box. It would be. I'd be a keen collector. I, I love. I love collecting stuff. Right. So again. Not sort of teams that you would play with, but just for a bit of a novelty, a couple of sort of personally hand painted Crusaders teams, um, and I think Lawrence you painted me that one. That was the two seasons ago. Hold on, I'm other trying, to, other I'm trying to work out other here way. because when other I came there, is that it? Yeah, that's okay. you. Yeah. So you, you painted that for me, mate. They're they're on the snipers, and. That was a kit. That was the wee cross kit from two years ago. And then this, I love this team. This is me, uh, me Ari Sleep winning team. When we beat your beloved Cliftonville one nil. <coughs> right, remember we'll that? We'll Cop that there anyway. So <laughs> it's nice looking squad. Subject Matt, are you? Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> very nice. So very that, nice. That, that's when we beat Cliftonville one nil. Now, just before you go on, just quickly, me and Lawrence, me and Lawrence play uh, for a wee internal cup. That's right. And yeah. It's actually landed on my, uh, it's landed on the table here. There it is, the stand firm so, cup. Can you remember this, Watsy? Uh, well, let's. I'll I'll give you a quick brief history of the stand firm cup. So, obviously, it's based on the old firm. I'm a Celtic supporter. Craig's a Rangers supporter. So we called it the stand firm instead of the old firm. Um, Craig had this idea of like the ashes. You retain it, or you. You can only win it, but if you draw, you retain it. So I think we've had it for about maybe 
a year, good, two years yeah, maybe. Good two years now. And Craig has won it once, <laughs> 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 and he's never we've never played since. So he's had it for about. Well, you've had it through lockdown. You've had it for a good at least. Twice, I think, twice, I think mother. Twice. No, I don't think you have. I think I've only lost it once. I think it's only been once, Craig. I think so. I think I've retained. I think we had a few draws where I, I must, had to retain it. I must it. point out that this cup, this stand for a cup, is played any time. We can play each other. Let Lawrence and Craig play each other. So if it's any competition, if we're if we're drawing in a league game, and it's it's basically like the Calcutta Cup sort of thing. If you watch rugby, so we don't watch rugby. Craig won it the last time we played, and we haven't played since. So. Lawrence, Lawrence did have the upper hand on me for a while, um, but recently um, I've took it back to Belfast uh, on two occasions. I think. I think once. Obviously, I had. You have to win this cup to take it away from the other person. You, yeah. If you draw up, if you draw, the person retains it. And um, so, obviously, I beat them the first time and, and brought it back. And I think we drew uh, the, our last match, so I kept it. And it, and it sits proud of place. This is the one that sits in my living room, not the Europa League. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it up, you Watson. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah, you, you. Next week we have a new co-presenter. <laughs> right, so, Craig, thanks for that there. Uh, Martin, we've covered everything. We're going to have a wee video now of me and Martin. We had a game the other night, Monday night, we come round. We are meant to have a competition and it fell apart because of COVID rules coming out. So me and Martin got together in the shed and this is how it went. Oh, 
Welcome back. So we just seen that thrilling, thrilling four three thriller. Four three thriller. Bradley got the better off me again. Obviously, he had maybe he got for me a drink when I came into the shed. I think it was spiked because I was seeing double. There was a uh, three jammy goals against the run of play. Don't know how you got them, but I don't know why. You're so like. I think you cheat every game you play. I think it's within your your DNA. You have to cheat. I just don't let you away with your nonsense. That's it. <laughs> no, you just go, no, it's goal, that's it, and reset the team, and that's it. You, you don't have an argument. Anyway. Let the folks. I don't know. With, with the new laws coming in, I can't see anybody coming to visit us anytime soon, so it might have to be okay. highlights of me and you every week. It will be. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, maybe we'll dig up some out. old footage and play, show you some old matches, some classic matches, if Martin still has them on his hard drive. Could do some classics. <clears throat> um... So this week it's Painter's Corner. We're going to show everybody a couple, of, a lot of a lot of these people are returning favourites because they're I just find their stuff's good. Okay. So this week is a new painter. He is Stadio de Stadios de España. He sort of covers football stadiums. Everything he does is Spanish. You can follow him on Twitter. He has like fucking twenty thousand followers. Ooh. But he's done a bit of painting this week and he has done a beautiful selection box beautiful. of heavyweight teams. Beautiful. All single players. He's done the likes of Fiorentina, Portugal, Ajax, Sampdoria, Spain, Romania and there's a couple more in there as you can see in the wee photo. So he's basically just done a, like, a one one team of everybody's beautiful. favourite team. So beautiful. I was reading the comments. I was He tagged me in his post and... I was getting the updates in the comments and there was like people giving off about putting certain teams beside each other like rivals. <laughs> so he has a great following on Twitter. Um, give him a shout, buddy. He, he's basically more about stadiums and he's in the Subutio. Um, another one is Subutio Galactica. I think he's Spanish as well. Great name. And a lot of his teams are like Spanish teams and again, they're all his all, all stuff's in Spanish. So I don't know what he's actually saying. But he comments on my stuff, so he talks in English. So very good. You can see his stuff there. Some beautiful paintings. Um, Callum at Westwood Table Soccer, who follows a page, um, a great lad. I've showed his work in the past. He's doing a subscription. Started last month. So Craig, I don't know if you've seen this. You pay, <laughs> you pay like a monthly instalment. First month, like thirty pound. You get a display case, and you get your first player. And then every week he sends you a player. Or every month he sends you a player. For what? For seven. I don't understand what you mean, mate. So you, the subscription's £30 to sign up, right? Your initial payment's £30. Right. You get a, a large display case that holds 18, or you can get 42. A case of 42, right? That might be, it'll be more expensive. And then every month you pay £7 and he sends you a new sub video figure, hand painted. So you don't know what team or what player you're getting. Right. So it runs for 18 months or it runs for 42 months. Very good. And you get, every month you get a player to fill the case until your case is filled. It's like one of them uh, magazines. Hey. What do you call them? It's Calum. It's Westwood Table Soccer. Give me oh, a week. Yes, Westwood. I've yeah. heard of them. I, Check I them out. In the garage from them. Yes, I, uh, I subscribed, so... The first one I got was Marseille, beautiful Marseille figure, and then he gives you a little card that tells you like the history of the club. Lovely, very good. So it's, very it's, nice. it's nice good. Touch. It's good, nice and touch. he sends you a little Subutio <coughs> fence. 
um, with Westwood Table Soccer on the back of it, so you can put it in the wee display case, so you can put it around your pitch. Beautiful. And so, he told me, uh, he, me uh, he had a Northern Ireland, like a, like an old 1920s, when they wore the big long shorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I bought, I bought that team off him, yeah. and I've, I've put it up in the wee lads room, sorry, up in the, up on this sort of, what do you, buy, data rail or whatever you call it. So it's up there. Um, oh, so you, you have a, I, do you have a border in the wee lads room? Like we used to call them a border, a data rail was a yeah. border. So you, I, ha- you have Northern sure. Ireland up above that. I, you should get a South and Ireland team and put them below the border. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get one your wife's from Dublin. Yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to have to do that one day. I'll uh, make sure I get a Republic of Ireland team on the other side. I have a Republic of Ireland team for you, I'll give it to you. I'll tell you better, better still. Uh, talking about that Northern Ireland team. Our sponsor, Cowerfield, I don't know if I should be saying this, he's doing an Northern Ireland team, he told me the other day. Um, 82 World Cup, Jerry Armstrong from West Belfast. Um, cool. He's doing a lovely Pat team. Jennings. Pat Jennings. So, no, not Pat Jennings. I was, Pat Jennings wasn't that, yes. Thank you very much. So, when he finished that, I'll get you the photos. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Were you going to say something there? Um, I... While it's in my head, make sure you plug my uh, Super Radio Stadiums on YouTube. Yes, we will do. I'll put the link up on your... Put the link up here. Just give it to my head. <laughs> yeah. I thought you would have covered that in your Super Radio forgot, story. Oh, I must forgot all about it, mate, up until now. Yeah, so Craig does lovely... Uh, he has... You've probably seen it. It's like... What do you call it, Old Trafford? Or? I've done a couple. Of, I've stuck a couple on YouTube. So there's one... Uh, the Trafford Park, which is Trafford. Old Trafford. <laughs> Trafford Park, uh, check it uh, out. I've done it sort of Man United versus Man City um, FA Cup final thing. And it's obviously not Old Trafford. It looks nothing like Old Trafford. So I've called it Trafford Park. So it's a sort of fantasy Man United sort of thing. So if you type in to video stadium Trafford Park, that'll come up. And at one stage... My claim to fame was that whenever you typed in Super U Stadium on YouTube, that's right. My one was the first one to come up. Hey, in the world. So that, that was that was always my claim to fame. But somebody somebody took up pedestal and I, nah. and then the second one, uh, I, t- I went up to the loft for uh, a, a lot of months, and then I brought I brought it down for the Europa League. I had a lot of friends around to the garage for the Northern Ireland first match against Portugal, not Portugal, Poland. So uh, I made it all Northern Ireland versus Poland theme. So if you type in Sweden Stadium Stad the uh, Nice, I think you call that stadium. Um, that that stadium will come up as well. Very you nice. Know, so. Right, I have I have seen both of them. They are beautiful. Very good. Um, obviously everybody now nowadays is built in stadiums. So uh, check them out on YouTube. Craig, we're talking to an audience. We have an audience today officially. Of 153 subscribers. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Stack him in the garage. Yeah. So, and we're getting we're getting roughly about 200 watches a week on our videos. That's a week. So, hopefully we get uh, we get more. We just need to get a bigger celebrity in the middle. Ends with the call. No root, offense, Greg. Rookie numbers. <laughs> need to get them up. Maybe, maybe. I'm a celebrity. Is a celebrity. Mm. Right, back to the painting. We have our friend down in Australia. My Aussie is actually It's not great. It's not great. Uh, Kev Halliday has produced this week, he's produced the new Wolves Away kit. Lovely. Which is green and white. It's white, but like all oh, like army print. Very nice. Cam- camo sort of look. Camo. Um, you see the big man in that. You'll not see him. Just be legs. Give over about the big man. I, I, I'm going to get him in here one week. Get him in here, fuck. <laughs> And he done a lovely Plymouth Argyle, Beautiful. green and white, lovely green and white Plymouth Argyle. Must have found a green paint line about this year. No, well, he's, he's, I don't know where he's getting this paint. Uh, Coverfield, our sponsor. Coverfield, thank you. Give him a wee follow on Twitter, of course. He has done, I have to go through his older stuff, so he, he has told me he's not in Ireland coming. Pinstripe, white with green pinstripes, going to be beautiful. Um, so there is his... England, 1982. Lovely. Talking of 82. Talking World Cup 82. Yeah, yeah, so the whole. He, um, <coughs> lovely, that, that England kit sort of is like red and blue and white. It's lovely. Yeah. It is actually nice. For an England kit, yeah. it's nice. 
Um, and in that team, he had he has two Peter Shiltons, and then he has the likes of Butcher, uh, Kevin Keegan. Kevin Keegan, good team. No good team. So that's the painter sorted. Never paint. You've never painted yourself, have you, Craig? No, that's one thing, man. I just haven't been into. I don't have the patience for it. I know Mark. I know Mark Nog has, has got into it, and I think Simon's done a couple. Right. I I would. I just I just love collecting, buying, selling, put them on eBay, buying stuff off eBay. I'm more of a collector, and I actually want to go to this thing in Sheffield, the collectors' fair, when it all kicks off again. That's right. Um. Yeah, I love I love collecting all the stuff, and uh, my wife tells me off about it. Spend a friggin' fortune on it, you know. Do what I used to do when I <laughs> before I was out painting. I used to get it delivered to work. And then carry it home in the rucksack. That's what yeah, I do. She's just got eyes on her like a hawk. She, she just sees me smuggling into the garage or whatever, you know. I always, I always <laughs> live in fear of uh, something happening to me. And then my yeah. wife selling me super video teams for what I told her. They They're worth me. People be getting the bargain that <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, okay, I, I spent a fortune on Right, so next up. Following on from last week, I think last week was great. Ruby, Ruby's video was great. So Ruby, 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 Ruby. Nice, Superstar. nice wee intro. So this week we're going to find out what Ruby's been up to, where she's been playing, and how she got on their latest competition. So here is Ruby Matthews. Ruby, Ruby. Hi, I'm Ruby Matthews, and this is my review to Tiger Table Soccer Diary. Uh, this last week I had played in Liverpool Wasper. In my first game, I lost 2-0 to Justin from Wolves. Then I won 6-1 um, to John, um, a new starter from Burnley. Then I had an unfortunate 3-3 with my dad. He was 2-0 up at half-time. I got it back to 2-2. And then um, I scored with 30 seconds to go for my dad equalised in the last few seconds and made it 3-3. Then I played Alan from White Star and lost 3-0. And then I won 7-1 to Michael, who's a new player, to Sabutio. I came third in my group overall and played in the plate semi-finals, who I lost to Nick, who's just joined London Road 3-2. This week I had one training game with my dad and lost 2-0. This is uh, by Lawrence. Ruby. Welcome back. Well done, Ruby. Ruby the star. Sammy, Sammy, fi- Sammy Fano lost out to Nick Pearson, who was here in the shed, played was against, shed, played against you and one of wee Waspa. One of wee Waspa tournament. The current Waspa holder. So we have we have uh-huh. a connection to the current Waspa holder here from the previous. Uh, can, I, can I just say something there? Yeah. I played Ruby in Wolverhampton when, when we all went over. Uh, Derry City brought a I came over to Woodbrook for the third leg, and a player in um, got out of the group stage. He beat me one nil, right? right. He beat me, beat me one nil. I'm not, any, I, I, I'm not a brilliant player. She beat me one nil, and see if I could stick fifty quid on that wee girl to win the World Cup, right? Oh, I, yeah. Careful. I would stick it on the morrow. I swear to God, just absolutely amazing. She is just brilliant, and that obviously that's that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to get to the World Cup in two thousand and. 21 uh, in Rome so we're wishing her all the best hopefully she has uh, the crowdfunding page up soon we can all donate there right yeah so Absolutely. basically that's that's it <coughs> that's it for this week um, just a quick thank you to Corfield who donated this prize as I showed you before that came in the post absolutely amazing a little Pelly piece um, and obviously we have had some a cat, are they a cat one keeper? Cat two. Cat two keeper from My Beautiful. Is that a cat three keeper? Does cat it three keeper? Cat three keeper. He's also donated, if I can find them, a whole bag of decals. Uh, team decals, base decals, the likes of Man United, Man City, Juventus, West Ham. So somebody could win a whole bag of decals. My Sabudio um, status. My Sabudio status. I have to say, probably one of the best equipment suppliers on the market. And if 
you need to get anything from my Saburo. He's an absolute gentleman. He is all right. We, and uh, f the service is above and beyond. Above and beyond. And I tell you what, for that for that week, for that prize, I will throw in players, playing players, and a set of bases from my from my own uh, collection. And you can have them, so you can make your own team. Gentlemen, you can gentlemen, do your West Ham or Juventus or Man United and try try the decals out yourself. Good luck because doing decals is a nightmare. <laughs> hard, hard work, hard work. It is hard. It yeah. is hard. I've much, tried it. Much and praise it's hard. to the boys at it. So, um, I'm here. Lord, yes, I, as promised, um, I says I would sponsor a week for you. Yeah. So, I, I have a shitload of stuff there. Going to go into my garage now and hook out something for you and get it up. You sent me your address last week, and I'll get something. Uh, I'll get something in a wee box for you. All right. Good man. Superstar Craig. Everything, all donations are welcome. We are not a charity. We are just trying to give people superior praises. Bit of crack, something to go crack, for. So. Something, to, something to get their name in the hat for. And sure, if you don't like superior and you're in this just for the football and you want a praise, sure, you can offer to sell it in our group. Somebody might take it off your hands for money. So I'm sure you're on the superior if you're in our group. That's it. So we're out. We're out. Got a lovely Alec Hoist picture if you want it. Stick it in the bogs and use it to wipe your arse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <coughs> gotta go. <laughs> All right, folks. I don't think we're done the 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we're done above and beyond. I think we're about 40 we're odds. Get, we're getting there. We're getting there. Good night. Keep it, it was definitely keep good. It the fort, it's a great crack. Hope you're all enjoying it. So, Craig, thank you very much for joining us, Bob. Thank you, Craig. You're Listen, I miss you. I miss playing with you. Is, uh, I mean, playing some video with you. Is, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope to see you all soon. All right. We'll get you down the flesh soon enough. Up here, send me one of the Dairy City face masks. Yes, I have it here for you. I have yours here. I have one for. Get, the, get in the jiffy bag tomorrow. We might have to wear them <laughs> next week. <laughs> Woo! Right. Peace out, everybody, and we'll see you next week for week. Well, it'll be week three, but we're on week four, so we're always a week behind the fantasy. So, ching ching. See you all next week. Peace.